Hey what is up guys this is Pit Patel here back with another video and in this video we're gonna set up our bootstrap for project in uh, SAS uh, so how to do that and uh, another thing that we're gonna do in our video is we will not use a task manager any kind of task manager like uh, grunt or gulp even though we will able to do some task of grunt or gulp kinda like confusing right now we will you will understand in a moment okay um, by the way I'm using the Atom text editor for my project purpose it's an amazing editor and for this video you should have this Atom editor otherwise you won't able to do this what I'm gonna do in this video so just go ahead and download and install it I have already downloaded so I going to skip this portion uh, another thing is you're gonna need uh, this node package manager for that you need to install this node.js in your computer so just go ahead and install it and let me show you how to do that by the way this is a node package manager I just recently downloaded it I'm just going ahead and download and install this okay next next and every single thing next install this Now it's completely installed in your come to the SAS. SAS is a pre-compiled language of CSS, so we're gonna need a compiler who compiles down to the CSS file. And for our purpose, we will use a Ruby installer because the original SAS is made in a Ruby language. So we need a Ruby and I have already downloaded it. to download the Ruby what you have to do is just go to the Ruby installer.org and download this latest version I have already done this and I'm just going to install this okay taking some time accept license make sure you select first and second option otherwise uh, one thing that I'm going to tell you that won't work okay I'm just all oh right actually I have already installed Ruby in my system that's why it's telling me this I'm going to overwrite those things okay now it's completely installed you need to open a command prompt using Ruby just type ruby and start command prompt using ruby because the ruby contains a gem package manager sorry about that gem install uh, sas we want a sas it will take some time so be patient okay and as you can see successfully installed the SAS version 3.5.1 partial documentation and to check the version let's just copy this and paste this command yep. uh, as you can see it's one thing you notice uh, it says the bleeding edge bleeding edge is simply means in SAS this is in currently what we say in currently a development version not a stable version don't worry about that now we have completely installed a SAS now we're gonna need to install a, a bootstrap in our project so what I'm gonna do is let me just create my project first and let me just create a new folder called demo inside this demo folder I will create a, a JS folder I'll create a CSS folder I'll create a SCSS folder okay now let me open these files in my project so open up your editor and open the folder I will go to the my this demo folder that I just created and select this folder okay 
okay now we are ready for and I'm going to create a new file called index dot HTML by the way in in uh, Atom I want to emphasize you one thing that uh, just go ahead and uh, install uh, install three packages that I'm going to tell you in hit the control shift P and search for preferences preferences inside the preferences which as you can see a lot of packages I have installed in my Atom okay it's taking too much time to reload because a lot of packages I have installed but important thing is you need a three packages for your project which is why I am I was telling you that uh, you need an atom for this. First is Atom Live Server. Atom Live Server. Uh, this one. Uh, second package you need to install is a pigment. Pigment. Is that right or not? Okay. This. Uh, and another one is a uh, Emmet. As you can see, this. To install any package, just go to the install over here and search for your package and install from here okay okay now what I'm going to do is inside this SCSS folder I'll just create a new file called custom dot SCSS okay and let me just create the basic template and control E what I did is I just use uh, this symbol and hit control E because of the Amit plugin this will give you this all bunch of basic template for your HTML okay uh, after completing this thing come back to that project uh, let me just clear out these things what we need is now uh, bootstrap to open up a npm okay node command prompt after opening a node command prompt what I'm gonna do is uh, head over to the my folder this is the my folder I just created let me make side by side you so you can see and by the way, if you don't, if you haven't to use any kind of uh, command line, so don't worry about that. Just type cd and drag this folder, whatever the folder is, and hit enter to navigate your directory. And I just, I'm so I'm right now inside this demo folder. Okay, what I want is I want to compile down this custom.scss file we'll do in a moment but before that we need a bootstrap.scss so what I'm going to do is I'll type npm install let me just go to the my browser and see command as you can see npm install I'm just gonna copy this and paste this okay and hit enter Finally, we have completely installed the Bootstrap 4 beta version. To cross check, go to our folder and inside the node module, as you can see, we have just downloaded these files. We'll come to this later, okay? Okay. Okay. Yep. npm install jQuery. Just go ahead and put over here and boom jQuery is completely installed in our package and we will now install this popper.js <sighs> okay what we're gonna do is uh, whatever inside this node module I'll grab this bootstrap folder and in bootstrap we have a CSS but these are already compiled down this CSS. we will grab this SCSS folder 
whole as CSS folder okay I'll grab whole things let me just copy this and paste it to the my over here okay go back bootstrap as CSS copy this and paste it over here let me just rename this um, bootstrap dot scss files okay not dot i think should be a underscore okay now we have all the things we require now come to the uh, npm module we need a jquery inside this folder there is an jquery and paste it over here go back go to the node package manager bootstrap js and this uh, okay uh, no, no no go back go back j and dist js bootstrap main.js okay wrap this into our folder and at last we need popper.js so go to the dist uh, I think this right over here 19 KB where it is yep this this right over here inside this UMD folder go back put over here refresh back now what I want to do is I want to compile this bootstrap scss file to css file as a bootstrap.css to do that open up command prompt cmd now okay to compile down our bootstrap scss file to scss file open up your command prompt and navigate through your folder and cd now what I'm gonna do is I type I'll type as CSS whatever I just told you and the folder as CSS inside this bootstrap underscore SCSS folder inside this we have bootstrap dot SCSS file and I want to compile down to CSS folder and name of this file will be bootstrap.scss okay fine now i want to compile two files so another file will be sc inside this scss file and that is our own custom.scss file and i want to compile down it to css folder and name it to custom.sc sorry css let me make it big so you can see okay now okay down to check whether we have entered a right command or not you won't see here error okay as you can see i think okay no error in console means we have entered a right command now what i'm going to do is let me I want to watch these two files whatever I'm gonna this watch command will watch over whatever you change anything to this two file and automatically update this two file accordingly so what I'm gonna do hit enter so it will watch over these two files is it working or not to check whether I need to f first target to link this two files in our project so what I'm gonna do is let me just add a script file first script and let me just do one like script and inside the script we have a source file which will target to the JS inside JS we have a jQuery in the jQuery.min.js so I'll type jQuery dot min dot js okay uh, I think I spelled wrong 
jQuery. Copy this. Okay. After that, we will talk. Uh, make sure you target jQuery first, then Popper, and then Bootstrap. Otherwise, you will get an error. Okay. Popper. popper dot main dot js, and at last, Bootstrap. Dot main dot js. Strap. Oh shit. Bootstrap. Dot main dot js. Okay. Now in the header we will target uh, we will target a link and this will be a relation as a style sheet and we want not a master but the bootstrap bootstrap dot css this files and another file is will be our own file okay and I'll target this CSS custom dot CSS. By the way, we will need our own custom script file also. So get rid of these things and target custom dot CSS. JS, sorry. Let me create file custom dot JS. Okay now we are ready to work to check whether it's working or not let me just first start my server local server atom server let me open up over here and now you see nothing over here of course you won't see anything let me just type h1 and give it a class display one don't worry about that it's a bootstrap class we'll display two and hello everybody whether to check on working or not as you can see we have given a class displays two and uh, hello everybody now check uh, first off let me check Aram live server is working now and open up a browser Yep, it's working. Let me cross check again it's working or not. Give it uh, any random tags over here and save this file. And there you have it, it's working. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you like this video, and I'll see you in my next video. 